Welcome to the book of Joel, a brief but equally important book that is next in line in our journey through the Old Testament. Much like the other books we've recently covered, Joel's account is a no-holds-barred commentary on the state of Israel and God's view of sin itself. When I read through this chapter, two things spoke out to me. One, Joel's descriptions of the absolute desolation of the land and the people made me think of how sin actively affects our lives, often leaving us completely wasted and demolished, doing an absolute number on our lives. Second, there is a call to action for the priests of the land by the prophet that demands they gather at the house of God and give offerings and fastings to God for the sake of the land and the people. I can't help but see this as a one-to-one -one example of how, what our response should be when we fall into sin. Return to God's side, repent, and fast by completely removing the object of sin and replacing it with the bread of life, God's word. As we continue on this journey through Joel and the remaining books of the Old Testament, remember that we always have the choice to turn from our sinful ways and return to the path God has set for us that is in line with his word. I'll leave you with some classic verses that speak to this truth today. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness.